Welcome to the video series on Research Methods and Analysis by Data and Research. This video is about the steps in quantitative research. Theory is a wonderful concept. There will be a theory about everything we know. In other words, we are good in constructing theories. Some of these theories may be helping us to survive. Some other we may not notice at all. Many theories that we may maintain may not be valid. Many may be valid. If a theory sustains as just a theory, it is just like an empty tumbler. We may feel that there is something in it, but actually there won't be anything. Through a research, we may be trying to validate a theory. We may be trying to make an inquiry to make sure if the cup is empty or not. To bring a link between the theory and the inquiry, we will make a proposition. This proposition is called a hypothesis. See now my case. I have developed a theory based on my experiences with parrots. I will say parrots are of different colors except white. I haven't seen a white parrot anywhere. So I have a strong hypothesis in my mind. There are no white parrots anywhere in the world. This is a null hypothesis because I am saying about the absence of something. I can say this as my worldview, my paradigm. But imagine one day I saw a white parrot sitting in front of my house. My hypothesis went wrong. My worldview shifted. In other words, there is a paradigm shift. I chose an alternate hypothesis. There are white parrots. Quantitative research is open to make and test such hypothesis. If we have a hypothesis, we can develop a design to go ahead in search of the reality. This design may be experimental or quasi-experimental. The experimental design is excellent in identifying a cause-effect relationship between two factors or variables. But we will not be able to apply this design in all the circumstances. If we cannot accomplish the experimental design, we need not feel that our attempt to inquire about a reality or truth is futile. We can try quasi-experimental design. Even though quasi-experimental designs are not as competent as experimental designs in revealing the cause-effect relationship between the variables, it can discuss about the probable cause and effects. If we are ready with a design, next we can think about the ways we can quantify the variables or measure the variables. We can find out some specific measures or tools. And if we are ready with the tools, we can finalize the place or situations from where we may do the research. This place or situation which we may choose may be the best in understanding about our theory. From the place, we can approach participants, request them to be a part of our research, select the participants who are appropriate to our research, collect data from them using the tools we have already decided. After the data collection, we will process the data and analyze it. While analyzing it, we will get a result. This result will compare with the theory we had in the beginning. 
will find or we will conclude the theory we had is right or it was wrong based on the results. Whatever may be our findings, we will document them. If we are ready to prepare a document about all our effort, we may call it as a thesis or a dissertation. If our document is a brief explanation about our theory and method and findings, then it will become a manuscript. Later, this document may help many others to take a decision about the worldview we had. That's it. The steps of quantitative research is this. If you have any questions, suggestions, recommendations, please write to dnr365 at gmail.com.